you're looking for a free screen recorder to create presentations for school or work, to show off your gameplay on Twitch or YouTube, or any other purpose, we'll help you find the best one that will fit your needs. So coming up in this top five, I'll count down the best screen recording software that you can use for free, all of which can capture high quality footage with no ads, watermarks, or time limits. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number five is Debut Video Capture. This program not only allows users to record any portion of their screen, but also supports recording from external devices such as webcams and security cameras. Some of its main features include the ability to upload your videos directly to YouTube, Vimeo, or Flickr. Your recordings can be saved in the popular formats, including MP4, AVI, MPG, and others. And if you're doing a tutorial, mouse highlighting is included to spotlight your cursor. Other features include a video overlay to record your screen and your webcam at the same time. And captions can also be added to your finished recording with their built-in text editor. The interface is intuitive enough to easily figure out how to use it. We've already done beginner tutorials for some of the programs coming up. If you'd like a tutorial for this program or any of the others coming up, let us know in the comments. Debut Video Capture is available for both Windows and Mac OS. They also offer a paid version for commercial use, so you have to be careful which link you click on. To use it completely free for non-commercial use, with most of the key features included, look for the link near the top of their homepage below Get It Free, where it says, download the free version here. Coming in at number four is ShareX. This free and open source program for Windows only is one I've mentioned before in our free software series of videos. It's what I use to take screenshots of anything on my screen. It also includes a handy screen recorder built in with no time limits or watermarks. If you have an older computer with low system specs, this one might be perfect for you because it's light on system resources. Another positive is if you want to share your videos with others, they can be uploaded directly to dozens of services, including YouTube. A downside is that full screen recordings from video games is not supported at this time. ShareX does not have a button to start or stop a recording. You could use the keyboard shortcut listed right here, Shift plus Print Screen, or you could go to the left pane, select Capture, then select Screen Recording. To hear the audio from your recordings, you'll need to activate your microphone. To do that, go to the left pane and select Task Settings. Here on the left, select Screen Recorder, click on Screen Recording Options. Then for audio source, go to the drop down menu and select the microphone or microphone amp that you're using. If you ever need help getting started with ShareX, we created a beginner's guide that might be useful for you. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. Coming in at number three, Screenify from iMobi is a completely free screen recorder that was just released last year. I tested this one for a couple months after it came out. This one is great for those of you that want something simple to use without any complicated setup. Multiple recording modes are available to capture what you want from capturing your full screen, a selected area of your screen, and it can also record your webcam. Unlike many of the free screen recorders, it has the ability to record 4K at 60 frames per second, and there are no time limits, watermarks, or ads. Other features include a picture-in-picture -picture mode to add webcam footage over a screen recording. You can reduce any of the noise in your audio or video, and it supports many of the popular video and audio formats. If you need help using it, they have easy to follow guides on their site that are useful when getting started. Screenify is available for both Windows and Mac OS. At this time, it's not available for Linux. Before we get to our top two, here are some other screen recorders that might be of interest to you. Built into Windows 10 and Windows 11 is their snipping tool, which has been somewhat useful for taking basic screenshots. It now has a screen recorder, which is great for short videos of 10 minutes or less, with many users reporting stability issues on long form videos. iSpring FreeCam for Windows is what we used when creating videos for YouTube many years ago. To use it, they'll require that you enter your email address before downloading. It's easy to use and includes many useful features, including the ability to highlight your mouse for presentations and you can upload directly to YouTube. Also built in is a video and audio editor to remove parts of your recording you don't want. While iSpring FreeCam 
does not have any watermarks or time limits. The export resolution limit is only up to 720p. They do offer a pro version with additional features, including a higher export limit, but for $227 per year, it's honestly not worth the upgrade. ScreenPal, formerly known as Screenomatic, for Windows, Mac, and Chrome OS is another easy-to-use screen recorder. Their free version would have made our top five if it didn't have their branded watermark on exported projects and a 15-minute recording limit. ScreenRec is one that many people like that is packed full of features and light on system resources. While there is no recording time limit or watermark on the free plan, the video resolution limit is only up to 720p. On the positive side, ScreenRec does have good cross-platform support. It's available for Windows, the various Linux distros, and Mac OS for both Intel and Apple Silicon devices. And the last of our bonus picks is Flashback Express. For Windows only, this one used to be a regular in our top five in previous years because of its ease of use, and it had a decent amount of useful features for free, including a video editor built in. A free plan is no longer offered. Now it's just a free trial with serious limitations, including a two minute recording limit. On the positive side, the Flashback Express lifetime plan for around $45 is actually a pretty good deal. In the number two spot, we'll cover two free programs built into graphics card software. The first of which is NVIDIA Shadowplay. As part of the GeForce app, this is for people that own a PC with a GeForce GTX or RTX class graphics card. It lets you record almost anything on your screen, including games up to a resolution of 8K, Plus it lets you broadcast live to various services, including Twitch and YouTube. To use it, you'll need to enable the NVIDIA overlay in the new NVIDIA app. On the left, go to settings, then click to toggle on to enable NVIDIA overlay. After doing that, to open the overlay, use the keyboard shortcut, Alt plus the Z key. For my friends in Canada, that would be the Alt plus Z key. To start a recording, click on record, or you could use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Alt plus F9 key. Shadowplay is only available for Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's also recommended that your computer have at least two gigabytes of system memory to avoid lagging and stuttering issues. Real quickly, also coming in at number two is AMD Video and Streaming. If your PC has an AMD Radeon graphics card, their software may already be installed. The features are very similar to Shadowplay for recording and broadcasting live. In the top spot, coming in at number one, OBS Studio is the absolute best screen recorder that you can use for free. This free and open source program is what I'm using right now to record this video. There are no watermarks, time limits, or ads. It includes a ton of features, including multi-view, which lets you manage eight different scenes at a time, has a customizable layout, and has plug-in support to enhance the functionality. If you need help getting started, we created a beginner's guide for this program as well, going over how to get it set up and the various settings. The link to that video is also in the description. OBS Studio does use a lot of system resources. To run it without any lag, you should have at least four gigabytes of RAM and at least a dual core processor. So if your computer can handle it, there's no better screen recorder that you can use for free than OBS Studio. It's available for all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. You let us know in the comments which screen recorder you plan to use and for what purpose. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest top fives and other tech related stuff here on Brett in Tech.